Good evening and thanks for joining us for Cron 4 News at 10. I'm Dan Thorne. And I'm Noelle Bello, an East Palo Alto Middle School employee arrested, accused of sexually assaulting children. Police are now looking for more potential victims, saying the assaults could have gone on at the school for years. And this all happened at Cesar Chavez Ravenswood Middle School. As Crown 4's Jack Moment reports, parents are now demanding more answers. East Palo Alto police say it took a total of 10 days from the moment they heard the tip about this middle school employee to Monday's arrest. But they did say this employee has been around the district for some time, so the number of total victims is still unknown. School's out for the day at Cesar Chavez Ravenswood Middle School. But in the neighborhood, it's an ongoing concern. Worried, sad, um disappointed. This woman wanted to be anonymous, but she tells us the employee arrested at her child's middle school was a well-known man. Just seemed like another any other school staff, you know, friendly, nice. It was just a quick hello. When I went to go pick up my daughter from school, he was there at the office. East Palo Alto police arrested James Edward Fitch of Stockton Monday morning and booked him into San Mateo County Jail. Fitch faces four charges related to lewd acts with a minor. This mom tells us the school has been communicating the details and that police are looking into it. Her friend told us that, you know, he would often hug her and called her like little like nicknames and stuff. But police fear this may not be the end of their investigation. They tell us Fitch was a longtime employee of the middle school and had access to hundreds of children. If there was more people impacted by, by what Mr. Fitch did, uh, we need to know about it, uh, no matter how long ago it went, or uh, maybe you have doubts if uh, it really was something that was inappropriate. Uh, we'd like to talk to you. Uh, in doing so, uh, this case uh, grows stronger. Police wouldn't give too many other details about how many potential victims there could be in this case, nor did they give any details about any current victims that are currently listed. Now, if you do have any information related to this case, you can remain anonymous. Reporting here in East Palo Alto, Jack Molmud, Cron 4 News.